If you want to change the color of your shirt or your favorite sports team is taking a dive, so you want a different color for that, or even if you want to do a silly aging yourself, I've got the video for you. Welcome back to Creator Reality. I'm John, and today I've got three ways or three ways for you to do a color swap in DaVinci Resolve. Let's dive in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I've got my intro cut up the way I need it already. And if we go to the color page, I've already added my normal color grade. I've got some different effects here that are disabled, but we're gonna play with that because it shows you how to modify an already existing color grade that you may have applied. And we're gonna to wanna to apply this before anything else. So the first clip we wanna do nothing with, we wanna click on our second clip. If you don't see these clips here, come up to clips and click on it, it'll show up. But we know this is our second clip. This is the one where we're gonna change the shirt color. So I'm gonna move these nodes out of the way and I'm gonna hold shift and press S to create a serial node before. See, it's connected before. And we are gonna use the magic mask. If you wanna go through the pain and suffering of rotoscoping, you can, or you can use the studio version that you paid for and use the magic mask feature. I will be using magic mask 2.0, of course, in this, as I've done a video up there on it recently. Yeah, it's good stuff. Anyway, we've got our new node. I'm in the magic mask section. I'm gonna turn on my overlay, click on better, and you'll notice that everything changed, right? When I clicked on the overlay button, this disables everything after it. So we're looking at just what's going to be masked out in this magic mask. So I've got my plus icon selected here and I wanna click on my shirt, but I already know that this is more difficult than a standard solid color shirt. And magic mask, I tried it earlier, it will not um, mask everything in here the way I want it. I tried to get it to cut out this Harley and the logo, but it won't do it. So we're gonna use our middle mouse wheel to zoom in quite a bit. And you'll notice that it picked up here, but not there. So we're gonna add quite a few little uh, dits here, little blue dots, make sure it picks up everything. And then press Z to fit, zoom to fit. And now you'll see that with the overlay toggled on, it's selected just that center green section of my sweatshirt. There's what it looks like before. And it's tinted it red to show you that the overlay is working for it. Now I can track backwards and forwards and it's gonna do a really good job, even with that hat coming in, in the foreground. Isn't that pretty cool? So it's tracked that, that's good. Now we're back at the start of the clip. You can just drag this guy back and forth. This gives us a really clear view of what we're gonna be changing. And the first way to change this is just to grab the offset and go with a different color. But we wanna reset that because we wanna turn our overlay off first because if I go and change this color to purple, watch what happens, I turn it off, now it's more blue. So we'll reset that. We have our overlay turned off, it's green. We wanna go with an orange, it's a Harley, right? So we'll bring it up to orange and we can play with it to fine tune it, to give it just the right tint that we want. And then we can actually go further. We can click on our node, hold Alt, press S, which creates a serial node after that one. And we can actually do another magic mask. So we can click on just my uh, sleeves there and turn our overlay on to make sure it grabbed just the sleeves. And we'll give it a few more clicks there just to make sure it tracks properly. Track that real quick. And on this one, the offset, we can use this slider control here to just bring it down. And if you bring it down really far, it's gonna turn really red, right? Well, we turn our overlay off, now it's like black. So we have completely changed the look of our sweatshirt. If I lasso select these two nodes and press Control D, now you see they're disabled, green and gray, Control D again, orange and black. So we've changed it to the Harley colors, sort of. Isn't that pretty cool? Clicking on our next clip, we wanna change the hat. We have a different way of doing this, but it will again involve the magic mask. So shift S to create a node. We're in the magic mask section and I'm gonna give it three or four clicks here. Turn our overlay on to make sure it picked it up right. It did, we'll track it. And now we're gonna use a different way to change the color here. We're gonna to go to our color warper, which by default is chroma warp, but we're gonna click on this one, which is hue saturation. And you see this white area here? This is where the colors are for what it's tracked. So what we need to do is go to Magic Mask, make sure our overlay is turned off, come back to the Color Warper, and you can either drag the center section to get to a color you want, and you can fine tune this 
by just dragging ever so slightly to change the colors. Or if we reset that, we can drag any one of these points along any one of these lines to bring the color and fine tune it really where we want it. Because otherwise, it's really easy to make it look unrealistic. So we're going to get rid of some of the red here. We're going to make this pretty blue. There we go. And now we've changed the color of the hat. And then this third one, this is where we're going to change my hair color, right? So we're going to, again, move these out of the way. Do a Shift S to create a serial node before. You guessed it, Magic Mask. And this time, we've got our plus icon selected. We're on Better. We're going to click around my beard and my goatee there. Turn our mask overlay on. You'll see it turns red. We can track that real quick. Hopefully it doesn't flash a whole lot. I see a little bit, so we might have to redo this one. Let's go back to the start and add some more pluses. Yep. You'll notice that our tracking bar has now turned red again. So we can go ahead and track it again. That seems to have done a better job. And now we can come back over into our color wheels again and we can drop our saturation down, but you don't really see it well until we turn off the overlay. Now I've gone gray and you only need to drop it. By default, it's at 50. This is 50, right? I can zoom in and show you the hair color. We can only we only have to drop this down to about 25 or 23 to do a real salt and pepper look right there. And if I scrub through the footage, we can see that it did a really good job tracking all that and it aged me quite a bit. <laughs> I know that one's silly, but it's fun to uh, it's fun to play around. And if Magic Mask grabs anything in the face, remember you can just do a minus and we can do that right there and then track it again. And it might even do a better job picking it up this time because it knows what not to track and what to track, but it keeps your settings over here. So we use the offset two ways. We use the saturation. We can even change the hue here. So if I bring the saturation back up and I've got my overlay turned off, if I drag the hue, I can give myself purple hair, blue hair. I can dye my hair any color I want. And this goes for shirts and everything else as well that I showed you earlier. But if I double click to reset that one, bring the saturation down to about 22, 23, and then we go back to our edit page. We can now play through this and you can see just like the intro where it's normal and then boom, we change the shirt color and look how well that's tracked. It didn't even get my t-shirt in there. Resolve is so smart. Now we change the hat color and that looks nice and purple. It's not green anymore because my sports team screwed up, but they aged me in the process. <laughs> and then we're back to normal. Anyway, that's a really cool, fast way of doing a color swap in DaVinci Resolve. You can go into the magic mask and refine the blur radius and tweak the matte settings if it's not quite right or if it's not the effect you're looking for. But now you've got all the basics to go do it and play around with it, right? So if you like this video, don't forget to boop the like button, share it with a friend that wants to age themselves or change the color of the shirt they bought without actually buying another shirt. I don't really know. Anyway, thank you for watching. I do hope you appreciated it. Leave me a comment below with something you learned and go check out this video next and I'll see you there. John out.